It's a great pleasure for me to welcome everyone present and those watching online to the swearing in of Lord Lloyd Jones on his reappointment as a Justice of the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom. It's a particular pleasure for me to welcome Lady Lloyd Jones and other family members. This ceremony takes place in exceptional circumstances. It was announced in March of 2021 that the mandatory retirement age for judges was to be raised from 70 to 75. It was expected that the change would come into effect before Lord Lord Jones reached the then current retirement age. But in the event, there was a delay and he had to retire some weeks before the new retirement age was introduced. He was then eligible to apply to be reappointed, and he did so successfully. So he is the first person, and possibly also the last person, to be reappointed as a justice of the court. In the circumstances, he has requested that he should be sworn in at a small ceremony in the court's library, and that's what we're about to do. After some introductory words about Lord Lord Jones, I'll read the letter's patent recording his reappointment by Her Majesty the Queen. I'll then invite him to renew the oaths required by law, first the oath of allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen, and secondly, the judicial oath. I'll then invite him to sign the oaths book in which the taking of these oaths is recorded. First, I'd like to say something about Lord Lloyd-Jones. He is a proud Welshman who speaks Welsh and will be taking the oaths in Welsh as well as English. After his schooling in Wales, he was educated at Cambridge and worked there as a fellow and tutor in law for 16 years. At the bar, he specialised in international law, EU law and public law. He has been a judge since 2005 and has also served as chairman of the Law Commission. He served as a justice of this court between 2017 and January of this year, rising to become its most senior member after the president and deputy president. He will now resume that position. He has made a major contribution to the court, particularly in the field of international law, both private and public. I and his other colleagues are delighted that he is rejoining us. I'll now read the letters patent recording Lord Lloyd Jones's reappointment by Her Majesty the Queen. Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and of our other realms and territories, Queen, Head of a Commonwealth, Defender of the Faith, to all to whom these presents shall come, greeting. Know ye that we of our especial grace have in pursuance of the Constitutional Reform Act 2005 and the Judicial Pensions and Retirement Act 1993, as amended by the Public Service Pensions and Judicial Officers Act 2022, reappointed, and by these presents do reappoint, our right trusty and well-beloved councillor, Sir David Lloyd-Jones, Knight, commonly called Lord Lloyd-Jones, to be one of our judges of the Supreme Court of our United Kingdom. To hold the said office, so long as he shall well behave himself therein, subject to the provisions in the said acts mentioned, with all emoluments, privileges, rank and precedence whatsoever to the said office belonging, or in any wise appertaining. In witness whereof, we have caused these our letters to be made patent. Witness ourself at Westminster, the 30th day of August, in the 71st year of our reign. I now invite you to take the oaths required by law. I, David Lloyd Jones, 
do swear by Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors according to law. I, David Lloyd Jones, do swear by Almighty God that I will well and truly serve our Sovereign Lady Queen Elizabeth II in the office of a Justice of the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom. And I will do right to all manner of people after the laws and usages of this realm without fear or favor, affection or ill will. Roivi David Lloyd Jones and Tani Ivu Hotlefiok Abadan and Fadalon Akan Weir Dianogar, you Maur Hadi Abren Hines Elizabeth Arayal, I Heti Vedion, I Holland Weir, and Enol Algebraith. Roivi David Lloyd Jones and Tani Ivu Hotlefiok Abadan and Guasanaithi Novalis, I am Herr Luides, Bren Hines Elizabeth Arayal. An asuid o vernur agor i her lis. Ac i ddelion gawir a phob math ar bobl. An ôl deddfau ac garferion y dyrnas hon. Heb ofn na ffafn. Ofder na drwg dynad. I now invite you to sign the Oves book. I now invite you to resume the robe of a Justice of the Supreme Court, and perhaps Lady Lloyd-Jones will help you into it. I have great pleasure in presenting you with your letter of patent. It's my pleasure now to confirm that you have been reappointed as a Justice of the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom and to welcome you back most warmly. Thank you very much. Other Justices of the Court have joined us remotely and I invite them also to welcome you, uh, beginning with Lord Briggs. I oh, beg your pardon, beginning with Lord Hodge. back to the court. I look forward enormously to working with you again on a regular basis. Thank you for returning. Thank you. Lord Briggs. Welcome back, David. It's, it's going to be a delight to have you sitting with us again full time and giving us your wonderful wisdom. Thank you. Lord Kitchen. Congratulations, David. Welcome back, and I'm looking forward very much to sitting with you again. Thank you. Lord Sayles. Welcome back, David. It's great to have you back with us, and I very much look forward to sitting with you again. Thank you. Lord Hamlin. Many congratulations, David. Delighted you could rejoin us, and I very much look forward to continuing to work with you. Thank you. Lord Leggett. Welcome back, David. It's a great boon for the court and for the country's legal system that you're rejoining the court. Thank you. Lord Burroughs. Many congratulations, David, on being reappointed, and I'm greatly looking forward to working with you once more. Thank you. Lord Stevens. It's uh, with uh, great uh, pleasure, David, that I welcome you back uh, to the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom. Uh, and I also look forward uh, to working with you uh, again in the near future. Many thanks indeed. Thank you. And Lady Rose. 
Congratulations, David, and I'm very glad that we will continue to work together in the future on the court. Thank you. And that brings our ceremony to an end.